gonna be like, I can't hear me anyway. <laughs> Jeremy Larkin here with the Larkin Group Home Selling Team. I've got the one and only, the, the one illustrious, and only. the one and only. It's the only Jessica <laughs> Taggart Marone that I know. It's not a common name. It's not, but if, ah. if there are more Jessica Taggarts out there, yeah, evil twins. Nice to be oh, here. Oh, there, there are many, me. there are many Jeremy Larkins, and and we've talked about this a little bit on the air, uh, in that <clears throat> the there is one in. It's it's not Dallas. I think it's the Woodlands, Texas. <clears throat> and every so often, or as some people say, often. Uh, I heard someone say, by the way, this morning, re- reference. I'm not even going to say who. They have a beautiful Instagram account here in Southern Utah. And they said in Zion's National Park. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Painful. It's, painful. it's painful. It's painful. Mm-hmm. Andy. Have you ever seen Zion's National Park in your life? At least they didn't say Zion. Yeah, that's that's usually the East Coasters. <laughs> that's usually the East Coasters. So uh, there you go. And there you go. And look, at the end of the day, <laughs> Zion National Park. So uh, this guy in Woodlands, Texas, same name, Jeremy Larkin, runs a, kind of a large real estate organization like we do. And... I'll get these phone calls. Hey, uh, so we're getting ready to close the property. This is so-and-so with, I don't know, XYZ title. And I'm like, who? Yes, yeah, the property at uh, 5433 Songbird Lane in Waco, Texas. I, and I'll be like, yeah. There you go. Actually, <clears throat> you're going to laugh, but this is a different Jeremy Larkin. Guys, good morning. This is the St. George Real Estate Morning Drive. I think it would be fun, Jessica Taggart Marone, to share with folks that St. George uh, in the last two weeks was ranked 10th cleanest air in America. Congratulations, St. George. Yeah. I, I want to I I be. be the first to congratulate. But here's the funny part. Our friends in Salt Lake City, and we're going to talk today about uh, what we call distinguished fine homes. We're going to talk about the luxury real estate market very specifically today and what's going on with expensive properties, distinctive properties. But our friends in Salt Lake City who often come here and purchase those properties, they were ranked 37th worst. I believe it. It's not that they were ranked 37th best. (laughs) It was 37th worst compared to St. George at 10th best. And, you know, you have to realize, guys, that uh, we we posted something. I said another yet another reason from my – I have this cool rooftop deck, mid-modern home in old downtown St. George. I was posting from the deck. The Red Hill is behind me. And I said just another reason people are fleeing Salt Lake, at least for second homes. Mm-hmm. It's a reason money is flowing here that we're going to talk about because, you know, 10th, 10th best air is amazing, right? And I was involved in the Ironman event. I didn't race. I was involved volunteering in the Ironman event. And I talked to people, you know, you know where so many people were from was actually Arizona. I thought that was interesting. That's surprising. You think that we're kind of quite a number, Mm -hmm. quite a number. So we're coming in from Arizona, but I talked to people. There was a fellow who came along at the race and he was looking for instructions. So I was running the volunteers at transition two. So they come off the bike, they go to run. And I high-fived Andy as he came off the bike, and he went to run. Just kidding. Andy wasn't in the race, but, you know. But you talk about sports often, right? <clears throat> I do, yes. So they came off. At the end, they came back to get their bikes, and there was confusion. And they said, I, I could see confusion. I came over, and he was from Mexico City. And I have a degree in Spanish interpretation translation. And so that was that was weird, that screen. So that was uh, – so <clears throat> with this degree – I pulled out my diploma, Jessica. You're always packing. And I said, como esta, sir? Jessica also speaks Spanish. I do. I have a degree in Spanish. Just, Isn't that just so funny? Just plain Spanish. Isn't that not... funny? Isn't that so cool that we mm-hmm. both do? Mm-hmm. I didn't say como esta, but, but we chatted and we got him sorted out and we found the bags and we found the bicycles. Jessica Taggart Marone, welcome aboard. Thanks for having me today. Always a pleasure. Love having you in here. Fun to be here. One of the great realtors that I know. Also one of the great realtors that I know. <laughs> realtors. <clears throat> mm-hmm. 
And uh, we're with the Larkin Group, powered by Place today. I've got my Place shirt. If you're not watching us, you can be watching us live on Facebook, facebook.com slash St. George Experts. That is the Larkin Group. Or just if you're on Facebook, just type in the Larkin Group and you'll find us, facebook.com slash St. George Experts. And we'd love you to comment. You can ask questions. And then if you're not catching this show live, or if you're listening and you're like, ah, I want to catch that after, I'm going to share uh, today momentarily my screen as soon as I get to the right page. Uh, but what you can do is you can cruise on over. Do you remember the Yellow Pages ads? what they say? You could let your fingers do, do the walk-in. Walk mm -hmm. You can cruise on over <clears throat> to youtube.com slash go St. George TV or just look up the Larkin Group on YouTube. And when you come in here, what you're going to find, look at this, full episodes. Jessica, look at you. There you are. You can see yourself on the screen. Oh, great. Full episodes, right? My favorite full, thing. Yeah, full episodes of the St. George Real Estate Morning Drive, the Cedar City Real Estate Morning Drive. And this is the fun part. We are getting gobs of traffic on our short form video. And most of it is coming straight here out of the show. And when I say gobs, I'm talking about like four and 5,000, 7,000, 9,000 uh, views of some of these videos that are just a few weeks old. People like short form content. So I do want to encourage you, head on over to YouTube. Please, if you like it, follow, subscribe, share it with a friend. It's youtube.com slash go St. George TV, or just Google uh, in YouTube, Google. It's the same thing. The, uh, the Larkin group on the YouTube, and we'd love to see you. So Jessica, I want to shift gears. All right. So you and I, Jessica has a little bit of an interesting background. And the background is, in addition to having a master's degree in education, she also has a master's degree in shopping. <clears throat> I'd like to say it's a PhD, but they don't have an actual uh -huh. PhD, but which it's, is, it's a great skill of mine. Thank which you. is why our affluent home buyers and sellers love working with her. They're like, this woman seems to know what she's talking about. All right. So she was a Nordstrom girl. And I mean, more than a customer. What did you do at Nordstrom? I worked in several departments. <clears throat> I started out in Women's Active and then I managed men's shoes for many years, which I never thought I would enjoy a department that I could not benefit from as much mm. as I did, but I loved mm. men's shoes. So, but were, so fun. But, but were you single at some of this time? Yes. You could have benefited greatly from men's shoes. <laughs> I, I may have picked up a date or two, but it was just fun to enjoy. I, I just enjoyed the buyers and my team from Seattle, and Portland. Um, just Seattle so is much. the HQ of Nordstrom, correct? I think yes. it is. Yeah. I went to their, I went to the Nordstrom rack in Seattle. Ginormous. Andy, I'm on a, I was on a business a trip to Seattle. Now I don't. You don't strike me as a shopper, my friend. I don't think you not, care. Not okay. too much. No. Okay, I can be a shopper. I'm a bargain shopper. I go to. I literally. This He's is not a joke. Me photos, by the way. She just... and I are sending photos. I'm like, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Andy, I literally had to sit. I physically sat on my suitcase to close it, and the <laughs> only thing I couldn't get out of there without was a was a suit. I bought a suit at Nordstrom Rack on that trip from the flagship Nordstrom Rack downtown. And here's the interesting part about Seattle, Jessica, is that Nordstrom Rack was on one side of the road and people doing fentanyl were on the other side of the road. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's right. Is that's that another fun? conversation? And this is actually not a joke. I'm talking eye level like, oh, hey, they're on the other side right. of the street. Right. But I couldn't fit the suit in my bag. So I, I took it in the, like the, the plastic Nordstrom Rack. Okay. But let's come back. I'm setting this up for a reason as we talk about the luxury housing market and the affluent buyers and sellers. You know, when you're working in a true classic Nordstrom store, not the rack, the real Nordstrom store, pretty high Full ticket line. items. Mm -hmm. Tell me about, because there are, I want to make some correlations to the housing market. Tell me who the people are that came in and said, we want you to like kind of be do personal shopping with us and walk us through and help us pick things up. What is the mindset there? So the besides we like nice my, things. Sure. Some of my personal shopping clients, um, the, their mindset was that time is money. Mm. So they were happy to pay. And of course, my services were not extra. Right. That's just a service that we provide. Right. Or they, they provide at Nordstrom um, and many other stores. But their time is precious and valuable. And so they would rather have someone else do that service for them to leverage themselves and so, yeah, it wasn't just men's shoes. I was picking out Christmas, you know, Christmas gifts for family members. And Andy, tell me we couldn't use that, my friend. 
Can we be yeah, real? Je- Jessica, can you buy Mother's Day is coming up? Can you help Let's me out? By the way, she, she actually does do this stuff for yeah, our team, for I our do. clients. I'll be I like, do. listen, Jess, please bring something wrapped beautifully, which she does. She brought me something from France wrapped blush. beautifully. Can't see. I'm blushing. Yeah, she, yeah, she just rolled in from France. <laughs> She's like, I was in France. Uh, no, but she was. And you, the gift you brought me was just well, so you. thoughtful. Okay, thank so you. go ahead. So, so <clears throat> it, 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 there's, you know, you you cross all departments. You're finding gifts for for family for Christmas. You're you know you're, you're giving um, sending ideas. Is, is do you want to go this direction? Do you want to go this direction? Do you what's your budget? Where do we want to stay for this this you know family member? So I did a lot of that um, for you know not a huge group of of clients, but I did have a core group of people that I shop for like that um, and. It just brings me a lot of joy to serve people like that and to know that I'm helping them in a way that is really helping their lives feel easier and more beautiful. And the mentality that you asked about with those people are about the experience, right? And I love a good bargain. I don't want anyone to think I don't. I love – but the idea of, you know, do I personally want to go spend if I need a pair of black – Pants. Do I want to take forever finding the best deal or do I want to find the ones that are going to be the best fit, the best, you know, that I can wear l- longest um, and just have it be easy for me or maybe I need to get them tailored? I'm going to go to a place like Nordstrom because I know they're going to take care of me. Correct. They're going to bring me – the salesperson is going to bring me not just pants from one department but probably four that might be a fit for me. And then, oh, there's tailoring services on site that I can have them do that. Oh, and by the way, if I'm thirsty, they're going to run and grab me a water from the e-bar or maybe a Diet Coke. So Always those sorts of levels of – That's right. You know, mm. DC is my love language. Mm. So those elements that certain brands and stores have, that's what gives me a lot of joy to deliver to clients. Yeah. So I, I think this is interesting because not everybody is a shopper. And not already is playing in the luxury real estate market, sure. right? But from my experience, you know, like this is kind of funny. If, if, if you haven't stayed in a nice hotel in your life, like you really should try it. You know, I mean, the Hamptons, fine. The beds are right. amazing. You can right. buy their beds. And totally fine. the courtyard it might Great. be an upgrade over the Hampton, right? But it's been my experience. Now, listen, I'm not dropping $1,000 on a hotel room, Andy. I don't want you thinking like getting the wrong idea. <laughs> But one of the things I do when I travel for business, I was in New York City. I was in New York City in like literally in Manhattan, Times Square, and Jessica was in France at the same time. Makes us look like we're highfalutin. But I was a real estate conference. Right. And we actually heard from probably like the number one luxury real estate broker in the world, Ryan Serhant. He's but amazing. He's amazing. Mm-hmm. But one of the things that I do when I go on these trips is I try to stay somewhere nice and somewhere unique because I'm there. Has there ever been a time as, as, for our listeners out there? When you said, I actually am going to tell a story about this, but I know, listen, I know the conference hotel is $2.99 a night, geez, or $3.50 a night. <laughs> but I heard, I heard that there was a Super 8 Suites that was in uh, Queens or it was over on the other side in New Jersey that I could get for $99 a night. It's no big deal. I'll just take the train. I'll just take an Uber. And it turned into now. I, Andy's nodding, but I want you to insert. Okay, insert your version of that story when you tried to save money, whatever that version of the story was. And you, the face palm emoji was actually made for you. It was like, oh no, right? Yeah, right, Andy. We go to Dallas, Texas. I was actually reading through some old journals oh, last his night. Heart. Yeah. He's not here to defend himself. Yeah, but yeah. we're going to talk about Jesse. <laughs> well, it was Jesse and Jeff. Je- and our buddy Jeff Jensen, we we go to Dallas, Texas for the this Keller Williams convention in 2020. Uh, no joke, people came out of the convention in February so sick, sick. <clears throat> I came super home sick, so sick. From people that came convention. home sick with a fever. Feb 2020, do the math. And so it was interesting that these guys said we're going to stay at this place offsite. So they get a cheap hotel. And here's what's funny. I was actually going through some old journals for a reason last night. And when I went through them, I found the notes. February 2020, uh, plane to Dallas. And it was, this is who's going. And this is what we're doing. They stay off site. They stay in this crap hotel. They got there and they're like, "Mm, this is about what we paid for. They had to rent a car. 
deal with the rental on the front end and the back end, pay the time to come and go. We would literally come out of our hotel room, like right at the conference and just like walk across the plaza and, and go then in. They had to pay for parking. And then they had to be our personal chauffeurs because. Yeah. Cause we'd be like, Oh, you guys have got a car. You guys have got a car. So I'm right? sure they were really glad. So, okay. Let's correlate this Nordstrom shopper. You, you were, you, you, you worked with the affluent. Let's talk luxury real estate market. Okay. okay. And, and I, and I want to watch Andy, what do we got for time today? Oh, you got about uh, nine minutes. Left. Okay. There's a couple of <laughs> things I want to cover. All right. And one of them is some of the concerns, not concerns, but the, the things that, um, that the affluent are thinking about these. I want to walk through Jessica, some of the top 10, I would call these top 10 luxury home selling concerns. So okay. if you're listening and you own a property, by the way, St. George, Keller Williams, we're part of the Keller Williams luxury network. It's amazing. Literally, it's the largest luxury home selling network in the world. Current market trends. I'm just going to rattle these off. Okay. Current market trends, like understanding the latest trends in luxury, real estate. You know, Which of the features most sought after by buyers? Well, we just talked about this. The luxury home buyer is not the $450,000 townhome buyer. What would you say the biggest mindset difference is in those in, in a someone trying to buy their first townhome versus someone purchasing two point four million in Entrada? What's the biggest mindset difference? Well, typically, if someone's purchasing a home at two point four million dollars, budget is not the main concern, correct? Mm -hmm. So, it's more about the lifestyle that that purchase is going to bring to them, as opposed to is this going to fit my family? Of course, you have to fit your family when you're buying a home, but but more it's about does this evoke my personal style? Does this evoke um, the lifestyle that I want to live? What is the and experience what is like? The experience going to be like living in this neighborhood? It's more of it's more than a home, right? It's the lifestyle that you're going to benefit and enjoy oh, yeah. by owning that home. So I think this is interesting is understanding if you're a, if you're you're a luxury home seller understand the, the mindset of a luxury home buyer versus your 450 townhome buyer which by the way we work with those people sure. they're Love great them. Love them we just sold 30 townhomes for Sunwood Homes they're thinking but the payment's going to be 2300 and I thought it was going to be 2150 right. right they're thinking what is what can I possibly afford it's a very different mindset pricing strategies number 2 I'm I'm going to hit a couple today okay great okay Number one is market trends. The luxury seller wants to understand market trends. And we're going to talk more of that in future episodes. Number two is pricing strategies. Uh, what is the famous thing that sellers in every price point say, Jessica, I don't want to leave money, money where? Money on the table. I yeah. don't want to give my house away. Yeah. Of course. So and we don't want, I mean, no one wants to do that no matter what price point they're at. Yeah. Of and and the, this, the mindset of the, of the, the affluent homeowner is how do I price it competitively without under, without like, like undervaluing an asset that I own. Right. Okay. Number three is staging techniques, which you have a background in design. You do some, you do some amazing home staging for, for us, Thank for you. our clients, <laughs> right? Different world at one and a half, two, two and a half, three and a half, four million, right? Very different. How important this, you can't even quantify this answer, but I'll ask anyway, how important is home staging when I'm in the multiple, multiple millions of dollars price point? Staging, I think at almost any price point is just massively important. Um, with staging properties that are that expensive, it helps evoke that idea of what your life can look like, I'm, you know, in this home. Um, we had a listing, it's been about a year and a half that you mm -hmm. took it. We just closed on it. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I, I say we, it was not my listing, but, but it sure. was, you know, I was there rooting for you when it closed, Thank but, you. um, it was a beautiful home is a beautiful home, but a, quite dated. And we took the listing over and had it staged professionally, put about $10,000 of staging into it. Right. Bingo. No kidding. By the way, after we, yeah, we, yeah. After we took mm -hmm. photos again, we had other agents calling and saying, oh my gosh, did you have the whole house painted? It looks so different. By changing by items changing, in the home. By changing furniture, bedding, configuration of you know furniture. So it is powerful what staging can do to a listing to make it sell for faster, you know, faster timeline and for more money. Uh, yeah. And, 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 you know, it's so interesting. Uh, we work with some great staging firms. So if you're someone thinking about putting your home on the market, 
you've got a valuable yeah, so. asset. Let's mm-hmm. let's let's call it let's define it as a million plus. By the way, a million plus used to be like the high end. Right. Now a million plus is like starting luxury, right? Correct. We work with some great, great, <laughs> great people. And just to give you an idea, because right today we have about sixteen hundred homes, fifteen hundred homes on the market just overall in greater St. George mm-hmm. at every price point. And if I look at 1 million or higher, today we have 181 homes on the market. So 181 above a million. Uh-huh. Gosh. Okay. So it is becoming a little bit more of the norm. There are homes that I never would have thought would have sold for a million dollars that are lovely homes, you know, but that is now I think what we consider starting luxury here. But we have homes that are listed all the way up to eight and nine million right now in St. George. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. And, and listen, be, before we get out of here today, so I want—I just want to recap. Jessica Taggart Marone is with me here with the Larkin Group Home Selling Team, uh, KW Realty, and we're talking about affluent buyers and sellers. We're talking about Nordstrom. We're talking about shopping. We're talking about top kind of luxury selling concerns. And today we're only going to cover three current market trends pricing st- strategies and staging techniques. I think that it's important for us. And I think it's very important for us to talk about the most, this is kind of fun. So let me add edit, edit this status. When we talk about, you said we've got homes at eight and 9 million bucks, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So right now in Washington County priced high to low, uh, well, I should say, which I should do that price descending. I think this is kind of fascinating. Most expensive home. Well, do people want to see it? They, do they want to know? Do you Can think you they put my it? favorite home on the market? I mean, up because I'm obsessed with one that. Okay. By the way, most expensive home right now on the market, eight point five million bucks. There's one that's listed for five, eight nine. Okay. On Magnolia Court. Okay. It's not our listing, sadly, but I was so excited to see five point eight nine. This home. Yeah. I, Let's can't, talk I about have it. no words. I yeah. have no words. So I if you're out there looking, so guys, by the way, we're, this is live on Facebook. You can catch this show later on YouTube. This is fun. All right. This this is this, this, is, this is a lot of fun. Oh. The interior was designed by one of my favorite design firms in Northern Salt Lake. Mm-hmm. Alice Look Lane. Look at that. And when you talk about luxury, we're talking about little – I mean, this home is – is large, but we're talking about little differences. I want to say it's, Oh, it's just shy of 10,000 square feet. Andy, is that going to be enough for you? (laughs) It's going to be a little tight. (laughs) Andy, we'd like, what we'd love to do is get you connected with one of our great lenders and get you pre-qualified today. So you can make an offer, a winning offer. Okay. (laughs) Okay. It would be silly not to Andy. Look at the stone. Look at the (laughs) stone. The, the design selections here are just, I I literally it's just takes away. Look at that tile work. By the, and the way, I, I, in and, the future, I want to oh talk gosh. about. Okay. I want to talk about color trends. Yeah, in the high end, in all ends. Sure, Jessica and you I don't shared. Have to have a, a no, ten thousand square foot home because to make we're seeing it feel some luxury, of these colors right? come back. We're, right. Yeah, you can yeah. do a lot yeah. of these things in your home of twenty five hundred square feet. Truly, one minute. One, one minute. minute. Five point nine paneling. million bucks. Oh, right. It's so, it's so, beautiful. so guys. You know, there are some really, really astounding properties on the market in Washington County. And I'm going to, I'm going to wrap us up with a thought. I think that Jessica, I think that the, um, black desert, the PGA tour event mm-hmm. it's in going to be massive October, for us. I think is going to bring a lot new of eyeballs. Money. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to bring mm-hmm. a lot of luxury buyers into the market. I agree. They're going to see what we have here. I don't think, I think the secret's out about St. George, but I think that again, an event like that, is only going to bring more buyers with money and it's yeah it's going to be really interesting yeah. to see how it yeah. impacts our community. I, I, you know, people are concerned about growth. I, I have bad it's news. happening whether we're concerned when, or not. When they have come and seen that golf course, and if you haven't looked at Black Desert, just look it up on Instagram. It is mind boggling. They're calling it the most interesting venue that the PGA Tour has seen in 30 years. Wow. A lot of money is going to come to town, guys. If you have more questions about staging, preparing, understanding the luxury home market, any real estate market, any real estate market. Honestly, you could be at 200,000 bucks, but specifically we're talking about the, the, the luxury high end. Today. We want you to visit us at gostgeorge.com, G-O-S-T-George.com. Thanks for Contact having us. me today. Oh my gosh. So, so great. Jessica Taggart Marone and visit us at YouTube. Just look up the Larkin group or, or go St. George TV on YouTube. 
We have so much content. You could stay up way into the night. And we are releasing literally seven days a week, releasing content about the real estate market. Jeremy Larkin with the Larkin Group, Jessica Taggart-Marone, over and out. 